The beauty scientists, Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. Tell me more about the RFID, because that's just, that's neat. Yes. So there's a little RFID chip that is optional in Motiva breast implants. So what's interesting is that right now, even though we have serial numbers associated with all breast implants, they're not really stamped on the implant and there's really no way to track it. In other words, it's up to the surgeon, the operating room to make sure that the serial numbers are documented in the patient chart and the operative report and everything else. With an RFID chip, obviously, like you can have a completely unique serial number that, hey, you can get that scanned and we know where the implant's from slash when it was placed slash when it was made and all that those details, which are very important for patients. What's interesting is that I spoke to the, some of the reps and some of the management. Uh, depends on the country if it's popular or not. In certain countries, it's extremely popular because it shows that you have an authentic Motiva implant and it's not counterfeit. Mm, and that can be a concern in certain countries more so than like, you know, if you're going to a board certified plastic surgeon in the United States, you're, you're getting the real deal. Like there's no question about that. Um, and I know they were saying for the U.S. market, they're a little unsure if that's going to take off because they were like, Americans don't like to be chipped. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is not a tracking device, but um, yes, we'll see. Because they were also talking about how like like a future direction they have is like this, you know, so you have this like RFID chip just so that you know like what it is. And that's really important. If you lose all your information and you can't get in contact with your plastic surgeon, there's still a way to find out what's in your body and not just like surprise going in there and and having to take it out to know. But then they also talked about, you know, like kind of like how we have the Aura rings or the Fitbits and the Apple Watches that are kind of monitoring our like different components of, like of our physiology, our heart rate, blood pressure, like the your heart rhythm. They're like, there's like room for like integration with the implant and like actual tech that can, you know, could connect with your smartphone. So instead of having to wear some, a ring or a watch, you could actually have something that's like, if you're going to choose to have implants, like it's already doing that for you and then connecting with your, with your uh, smartphone and device. And I was like, that's like really neat in the sense that you don't actually have to wear some accessories. Now I know some people that's, that may freak them out, that level of uh, intimate knowledge of what's going on with you, but um, and it's, they're certainly not making that mandatory, but I was like, that's a, that's an interesting like future direction if you're choosing to have breast implants. Yeah. I mean, it would be wild to have an iOS or Android app that's monitoring your implants and you could watch it on your phone or Apple watch, but I guess it's possible. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the beauty scientist. Be sure to visit the beauty scientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.